Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Just Here and There. This is Ronald. This video is about the Colosseum Rome, which is one of the new seven wonders of the world. I am re-uploading this video with new contents and more information. Colosseum Rome is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Italy and must see sight if you are visiting Italy's capital. Construction of this Colosseum began in 72 AD and was completed in 80 AD. This building is entirely all in shape. With nearly 2000 years of history, there is so much to know about Roman Colosseum. The arena once witnessed bloody gladiator battles, epic hunts pitting humans against wild animals and gruesome execution of prisoners of war and criminals. The construction of the Colosseum was started under the Emperor Vespasian, but it died before it was completed. Then the construction was finished under his two sons, Emperor Titus and Domitian. The actual building was largely done by Jewish slaves, importantly overseen by Roman engineers and craftsmen. As I had mentioned earlier, this building is entirely oval in shape. It is 189 meters long, 156 meters wide and 48.5 meters tall. The entire building has a surface area of 6 acres. And most importantly, not to forget, this building has 1950 years of history. It is really, really old. The Colosseum was the largest amphitheater in the Roman world. Unlike many earlier amphitheaters which had been dug into ill sites to provide adequate support, the Colosseum was a freestanding structure made of stone and concrete. For the Colosseum tickets, please go to a website called www.coopculture.it because due to Corona, they were not selling the tickets there, you have to buy it online. After the fall of Western Roman Empire, the Colosseum began to deteriorate. A series of earthquakes during the 5th century damaged the structure and it's also suffered from neglect. By the 20th century, nearly two-thirds of the original building had been destroyed. The Roman Colosseum is one of the capital's most remarkable monuments. Over 6 million people visit this Colosseum every year. The massive structure had 80 entrances to the amphitheatre and it could hold more than 50,000 spectators at its maximum capacity. When the Colosseum first opened, the Emperor Titus celebrated with 100 days of gladiator games. Emperors traditionally attended the games. Aside from the games, the Colosseum also hosted dramas, reenactments, and even public executions. The Roman Colosseum was an important venue for different events as famous gladiator battles. The shows were open to the public and made citizens of the Roman Empire entertained. Moreover, there were special effects and battles among wild animals or slaves versus wild animals. The number of people who died in the Colosseum was about 4 lakh and around 1 million animals died throughout its existence. Of course, the most favorite shows were the gladiator battles, where the professionals were fighting to death. Many of the gladiators were prisoners of war. According to many historians, during 100 days of celebration of the Colosseum opening, around 9,000 animals died on the arena. Before you visit Colosseum, I would definitely recommend you to watch this movie, Gladiator, which was released in the year 2000. The Colosseum is not the real name. Some Colosseum facts are hard to believe but true. If you are alive 2000 years ago and ask someone in Rome where is the Colosseum, then they would stare at you blankly. 
The name Colosseum was attached to this building much later in history. The actual name is Flavian Amphitheatre and is named after the Emperor Vespasian. I know. One of the most interesting facts about the Colosseum is that Emperor Domitian added this underground section called the Ipogeum. He ruled after his brother Titus who oversaw the completion of the Colosseum. Before the addition of the Ipogeum, the arena was often flooded to recreate naval battles. After the addition, the gladiators and wild animals stayed in this bi-level underground section of the arena before fights. Visiting Rome and specifically the Colosseum feels like flipping back through the pages of history. This history and international admiration earned the Colosseum a place on the list of new seven wonders of the world. Thousands of people voted for the Colosseum to make the list and the honor was announced on July 7, 2007. Now I'll be walking here and there to give you some information about the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. This is Roman Forum, also known by its Latin name Forum Romanum, is a rectangular forum surrounded by ruins of several important ancient government buildings at the center of the city of Rome. And this is the Palatine Hill. The Palatine Hill is one of the most ancient parts of the city and has been called the first nucleus of the Roman Empire. The Roman Forum was the scene of the public meetings, law courts and gladiator combats in Republican times and was lined with shops and open-air markets. There were several temples in this Roman Forum. The one which you are seeing in the image is the Temple of Saturn. The Temple of Saturn was an ancient Roman temple to the god Saturn. There is one place in the Roman Forum where you'll find fresh flowers every day it is at the grave of the Rome's most famous citizen, Julius Caesar. This is the temple in the Roman Forum which was built in the honor of the former Roman dictator. The place was really amazing and the history here is phenomenal. You truly need at least 4 to 5 hours to see it all. So from my point of view when you are here, don't hurry up. In the coopculture.it website, the ticket price for Colosseum, Palantine Hill and Roman Forum is 21 euros per person. It's a priority entrance. You will also get a guided tour with skip the line access for 38 euros and there are many other variety of tickets. There is so much to see and do and you will be truly walking in the footsteps of history. Remember to bring a water with you and you can also refill your water at any of the public drinking fountains that are perfectly safe to drink. Rome was not built in a day, so it's not fair if you don't spend at least 2-3 to three days in Rome. Still there are n number of tourist places and I would definitely bet you'll have a great time. I hope you like this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe if you like and I'll come up with a more interesting video next time. Until then, see you, bye bye.